Authorities culled poultry in Shanghai markets after detecting H7N9 in local pigeons. Taiwan will make antiviral drugs available for public purchase at a subsidized price through April. While China reported that a four-year-old boy made a full recovery from H7N9 flu, of around 24 known cases, eight people have died. Professor Malik Perez is director of the Pasteur Research Center at Hong Kong University. You have to be quite cautious about interpreting this type of mortality rates because what happens is that usually only the most severe cases get uh, sent up for investigation. So there could be milder cases that are unrecognized. Uh, so on the one hand, uh, it would make the mortality and the severity less. But of course, on the other hand, if that is the case, uh, it would mean that there is more transmission occurring in humans. Beginning April 11, imported live poultry will only be sold in Hong Kong after a 3% sample is tested for H7N9. To develop vaccines and break the infection cycle, Paris says, the source of the outbreak must be identified. It is um, quite unpredictable uh, in that there are, there are many, many hundreds of people working very closely with these poultry who don't seem to get infected, and there is the one person who may have sometimes quite tenuous uh, association or contact who gets infected. So I think what is crucial is to uh, go upstream along the poultry marketing chain, uh, ideally to the farms, and identify which animal species is the, is the main source. Thomas Abraham, who wrote a book about the 2003 SARS epidemic, says the Chinese government cover-up, which contributed to the spread of SARS, is unlikely to be repeated with H7N9. One of the early cases in Shanghai, uh, even though the hospital itself had said nothing, uh, the patient's admission slip uh, was put up, was photographed and put up on, on Weibo. So this kind of information flow, it's a dam that is unstoppable. While World Health Organization officials say there is no need to panic, Laurie Garrett, an expert at the Council on Foreign Relations, is concerned that the H7N9 death toll will rise. What 2009 taught us with the swine flu episode um, is that global solidarity can break down very fast. Countries start closing airports. They start quarantining travelers. They start hoarding drugs and, and vaccine. Uh, and it's not a pretty picture. With public fear an issue, researchers in Hong Kong have announced they will revisit a 2009 study to confirm that surgical masks, widely worn during flu season, are indeed 70% effective in preventing the spread of flu viruses. Ivan Broadhead for VOA News, Hong Kong.